force girls to do other things. They tell us to be sexual with them. A former international student is speaking up about the exploitation she experienced as an Ontario renter. They don't follow the rules that they have to give 24-hour notice, 48-hour notice. They don't do that. They just come to your place, try to exploit you. Afraid to share her identity, the former student says she knows other women who, like her, have experienced landlords coming to their units without notice, asking for sexual favors and offering reduced rent in exchange for sex acts. The issue was recently brought up at Brampton Council. International student girls, as you saw in two of the pictures of uh, posts that Councillor Keenan has shared, are essentially being prostituted for rent. Councillor Ravena Santos presented these rental ads in front of council. They exploit them in a way of sometimes having four or five beds in one room. They exploit them by, in the case at council, um, suggesting that sexual favours will give them discounts on rent, essentially prostitution. Santos says many of these international students are unaware that they are being exploited and without permanent status in the country, they are afraid to speak out. Because of different cultural dynamics, don't even necessarily know what consent is and what friends with benefits means. You know, that ad showed friends with benefits. If you're willing to do friends with benefits, then you only have to pay $200 instead of $300. And it's absolutely disgusting. According to Santos, the city is working with social agencies to connect with students and to support temporary residents who have been abused by their landlords. At that time, I was a student. I didn't told it to anybody. I was just so depressed and I handle the situations myself. Many of them end up going to social agencies and sharing that they've become pregnant or having mental health issues. Some have committed suicide. Some counselors suggest the residential rental licensing pilot program could help crack down on abuses. The former student we spoke with adds awareness is also key. Girls should know that they have the option and they should speak out and take actions against it. Levine Gill, Omni News, Brampton.